Good morning, this is my Shaman Oracle reading for Saturday. And today I'm using the illustrated Herbarary cards and the beautiful book that has lots of wonderful stories in it. And this reading here now is for Leo. Welcome, Leo. The card that came out for you is Thaim, the herb Thaim. And Thaim is about distilling yourself. In mythology, the teaching is that a minotaur haunts the labyrinth of your psyche. And as you walk toward your center in this labyrinth, this monster prowls and roars, trying to scare you off your path by revealing your fears and inadequacies. But you are never truly alone. You have allies like the same, her scent purifying your thoughts so you can see what is true. Saim kills off what is other, whether that is germs and microbes or thoughts and feelings. This is the Saim's special magic. She calls your inner flame to burn the trust and distilling your spirit. Intuitively, she knows you and she sees you clearly when you yourself might not see you. Thyme is a powerful plant. Do not call on her unless you are truly ready to be tempered in her flame. There is a ritual understanding your journey. The labyrinth is an ancient construct meant to mirror our path through life, the twistings and the turnings, the feelings of being so close to our goal, only to be guided away. And unlike a maze, a labyrinth has no dead ends or wrong turns. Walking it eases the mind and relaxes the body. So if you have a labyrinth nearby, which you can easily find with an internet search, including your town name and the word labyrinth, then go out and walk it. You will not regret it. If you do not have one, nearby, create some quiet for yourself. Your movement through a labyrinth is a microscopic metaphor for the macrocosm cosm of your life's journey. Reflect on any thoughts or feelings that come up as though they concern not just the micro moment of being in the labyrinth, but the macro movement of your life path. Always follow the path all the way to center and then follow the same path back out. Move at your own pace, pause where you want to, especially in the center and do any meditative practices that speak to your soul. And you can do the reflection called returning to your path. Have you seen your true path and then turned away is the question. Or have you stepped onto the path only to become unsure or distracted? Time is calling you back. If you accept and if you whisper yes in the wee hours of the morning, 
you will find time both demanding and true. So, which path will you walk and which callings will you consciously deny and which will you accept? Ask this. Okay, Leo, that was the reading for you. I hope you enjoyed it, Leo. I do wish you a wonderful weekend. Take care and goodbye.